everybody um it's been quite a while since i've been on here but i wanted to update you guys and let you guys know i am bringing a puppy home in two weeks our puppy's name is theodore he is a cob of hill and uh, i just wanted to make this video to let you guys know all the puppy essentials that i have bought for theodore you know just to bring him home and so he has everything that he needs um so yes I just want to thank you guys so much for supporting me even though I have not been here for so long. Um, Alright, let's get started. Alright, so one of the first things I actually bought for him is this ceramic bowl. It has his name Theo on it. I got two of them um, and it also comes with a stand so that it does not move and it's stabilized. So the reason why I also got these bowls are because they are lead free so they're painted without any type of lead in it. Um, meaning that it is very safe for Theodore to use. And I just love that I have his name on there. So I got two, one for drinking and one for eating. Um, the second thing I got is one of these. So this is a lick mat. If you guys don't know what that is, essentially you can just smear on peanut butter, yogurt, whatever. You can freeze it um, and it'll keep the dog occupied. So if it's frozen, he can just sit there, you know, in his crate with some crate time and just lick it so that he is occupied and doesn't really whine or cry so he feels like it's his home. The other thing I got that I think is going to be very, very helpful is this. So this is going to be his Lammy. Um, it has a heartbeat inside, so if you open it up, There is a heart in here. Um, I didn't pull out the tab yet because he's coming home in two weeks. But essentially, you pull the tab out and the lamb will emulate a heartbeat. And it's supposed to mimic being with his litter mate. So Theodore has one, no, two other sisters and one other brother. Um, and, you know, he's so used to being with his litter mates that he might feel anxious or have some type of depression from being far away from his litter. So yeah, this should help with just having a heartbeat um, and stuff like that. So praying that this helps and I'm pretty sure it will. I've heard a lot of good reviews on this. The other thing that I got, I actually bought a couple, uh, but I returned them and I found one that I really liked is this donut bed. So the one thing I like about this is, you know, it's just, it's so soft, so fluffy. He's going to be relatively small. So I just think he'll be so cute encapsulated in this. So I think definitely getting a bed is very beneficial, but you also have to keep in mind that puppies pee, poop, um, and ruin everything. So this was a relatively cheap bed I got from PetSmart. So I think one of the most, I guess, valuable purchases that I've bought, I've actually used this already on my Shiba, is this. So it's a plug-in hair dryer, and if you look closely, they have the bristles. Um, and then it blows out heat, but and you can also adjust the temperature on it. And essentially, you can just brush your dog as you're blow drying him. Um, Ari is very, very terrified of the hair blow dryer, so this actually kind of helped a little bit. And I'm hoping that Theodore will find it calming because it's not, it's not really loud. Everything will be linked down below in the description. But yeah, I got this off of Amazon and I think it's actually been very beneficial already using it on Ari. Going along with grooming, I also got this steel comb. Um, so yeah, since Theodore is part poodle and part cavalier, King, King Charles, Cavalier, King Charles Spaniel. So you know poodles have very curly hair and they tend to get matted. So this is just supposed to help with dematting um, your puppy. And along with that, I got this brush as well. So this one, you push it and the teeth come out and you can brush. And then once you let go, the hair will be pushed out so it's easier to clean. Um, Theodore probably isn't going to shed as much since he is poodle. But Ari, using this on her, you will see clunks of hair come out since she is a Shiba and Shiba shed a lot. So I also picked up this nail trimmer. Um, I haven't had much use of it yet. Ari doesn't really get her nails cut just because she walks on cement a lot and it always shaves it down. But this is supposed to be ergonomic. Um, the designs and features says that 
says that there's a safety guard on this. So I'm gonna see how this works with Theo when his nails get longer. I also got this pet paw bomb. So the main reason for this is, you know, I'm getting him in February, which is next month. It's gonna be very cold outside. Um, I wanna protect his paws against snow, against the cold, in the summer against the heat, um, just keeping them very moisturized. It is actually a pretty good size. It's 2.1 ounces. I've used a little bit on RA already. It smells pretty good. It just smells like shea butter in a sense. But yeah, what I did is I would take it, I would warm it up in my hands, and I would rub it on Ari's paws um, and hopefully do the same with Theo. So I made a mistake and I bought the biggest paw cleaner. I didn't know it was a size large, but it is really big. Um, so essentially what a paw cleaner is, is it is a little container and in the inside there are these silicone little brushes uh, you fill it up with soap and water and you just put their paw in and you know swish it around that should help clean their paws very very nicely um, and then it comes with this little towel the microfiber towel I'm not sure how well microfiber towels work since I don't think it works on me um, yeah, just to dry off their paws. So I'll be using this a lot. I want to take him hiking. I want to just, you know, bring him out places. And if he gets dirty, it's easier to clean. The one other thing that I got that I think will be very beneficial walking either Ari or Theodore at night is this. So I actually have not cut it yet, but this is a LED light. Um, you basically put it around their neck. There's a couple settings. You can do like flashing slower flashes or completely solid. I got the color blue because Theodore is a boy. And I'm going to get Ari a pink one so that they can match. But yeah, these are a rechargeable collar. So you don't really have to worry about batteries or anything like that. But the purpose of this is, you know, if it's dark at night or for hiking or if it, you know, just going on a late night walk, you want to be able to keep track and see your dog. Um, this is also cuttable. So the light is actually inside here. So this is just um, the band where the light reflects in so you can always adjust it and cut it by size I don't think I'm gonna be cutting it anytime soon just because I don't know how big Theo's neck is gonna be So the other thing that I got is more for decor um, It is a TP. I'm hoping that he'll use it, but it is a TP from Pickle and Polly. It is extremely extremely cute I think it matches his setup very very well um, it comes with the poles as well as on the inside there's a little bit of a bed in there um, But yeah, everything will be in the link down below. I just wanted to say that I am Not a pet expert. This is just stuff. I bought that I think would be beneficial to having a puppy um, And yeah, so another thing that everybody should have is a crate Everybody needs to get a crate for their puppy So, you know their crate can be their safe place where they can feel comfortable the crate I have, I think is from Midwest something. I will put it in the description down below. But this crate essentially is 24 inches um, and it comes with a divider. So essentially what a divider does is you can remove it or you can adjust how big you want the crate to be so that your dog or your puppy can grow with the crate. Um, a rule of thumb is that you always want to have your crate big enough for just him to sleep, for him to turn around, and that's it. If the crate is any bigger, then he can find a spot to pee, to poop, whatever, and then just sleep on the other side. So you want them to think that their crate is their home so that they're able to, you know, find comfort in there and not use the potty in their crate. Um, I also have this crate mat that I bought. It's relatively cheap. Do not get a expensive crate mat because they may potty on it. Um, but yeah, our crate mat, easily, you can throw it in the wash, stuff like that. So I'm honestly really excited to get him and everything. But I'm going to be filling up most of his area also with toys and um, with blankets and stuff so that he feels comfortable. So got him, obviously, a variety of toys just because as puppies, they're going to be teething a lot. I did get a baby Kong, which will help him with his teething. Um, and then I got these enrichment toys.
the other most important things that I believe you should get is a nice collar. Um, so this is the collar that I got. And I got a little tag as well with his name on it that says Theodore. But yeah, this is a BioThing collar. Um, adjustable with every size. And I just think, you know, this will be very easy to clean compared to fabric ones. Um, easily you can wipe it. I did get color white just because... I love the color white, if you cannot tell. Um, yeah, so I got a little collar tag with my phone number on it and just his name. And then with that collar, I'm not going to be attaching a leash or anything to his collar, but I did buy a few... I did buy two options of harnesses. So I got this one from Blue Paws Co. It's a little bit of a sushi on there. Um, and there's like sushi on the back and then I also have this one from sassy wolf which is a little bit bigger than this one so these are both size extra small um, but they look yeah smaller different different sizes essentially so I'm hoping that this fits him as a puppy and then he'll grow into this one um, Theodore's sister Ari actually wears the sassy wolf one but in a pink color and she's a size small in that Ari's relatively pretty big so hopefully he can fit this when he's older, but as of right now, I might just be using this one when he gets picked up. So as for leashes, I'm probably going to get a different one just because this one's too heavy for him right now. So it's also a leash from Sassy Wolf. It is their, um, their rope to leashes, which I absolutely love. I have the same one downstairs for Ari, but in a white color. It comes with their cute little tag that says Sassy Wolf on it. They have doxies, so super, super cute. It's a really cute touch, and it comes with like rose gold hardware. So I highly recommend this when he gets older, just because I love the aesthetics. I am a sucker for aesthetics, so. But in the meantime, I might be getting a longer um, leash just because I want to train him how to walk with a harness on inside the house so that we can prepare for when we actually go outside and when he has all his shots. So this is not, you don't need this. I am just extra and I decided to buy him all these things. I got him these cute little hoodies. These ones are from Amazon, relatively cheap, less than like $10. Um, just so soft. I don't think he's gonna fit into them just yet because you know puppies are very, very tiny. Um, and here's a funny story. So I bought this little, sweater right and you see how it looks like a heart I'm pretty sure it's a chicken costume so when I ordered on Amazon it says heart but look it's a chicken but I think it's absolutely cute because you know Kavapoos he's all red he's gonna look like a little chicken tender when I get him I got him some socks just because I want him to get used to having things on his feet um, by all means not necessary when we go hiking I do want to get him hiking shoes just so he doesn't hurt his paws or anything so I want to start off by putting socks on him so he gets used to the feeling I got him a max phone city carrier um, I absolutely find it super super nice there is a fleece lining inside that you know can keep your dog warm and you can also remove that and wash it um, the one thing I bought this carrier for is because you know when your puppy is young they're not really allowed to walk on the grass um, with a lot of parvel strands going on with all this um, you know you just don't really know what's out there so I'm gonna be putting him in a carrier and I'm gonna be carrying him around since he is gonna be a puppy and he won't be that heavy this is the max bone city carrier bag it has a little compartment right here which is super cute for me to put like my paw pads um, and stuff to wipe his paws down. The inside, there's a longer strap as well, so you can use it as like a kind of a crossbody. There is this, which I really love. Um, it's relatively short, which is good, meaning that your dog will stay intact. Um, and then you can also remove this liner as well to clean and wash. So this is the carry that I got for him. I'm super excited to be using it. And yes. And the last thing that I got is a car seat. <laughs> so the reason why I got a car seat is when Ari's in the car, she gets very anxious. She moves around a lot. She gets very, very scared. Um, and she is very restless. 
so with having a car seat i think it'll kind of train him to know that you know being in a car is okay it's not scary you will be safe you'll be comfortable the car seat that i got is also from amazon um it is striped blue i think it's pretty cute it's really really soft it attaches to the back of the car um chair as well as going behind kind of like a baby seat or a baby car seat um and then it also has this strap to clip onto his collar and harness as well that you can adjust so that he does not go flying if anything happens but yeah that's all i really got for theo um i do need to get him a play pen so that he's really comfortable with that but yeah those are the things that i picked up for him and i'm honestly super 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 excited to pick him up i will be doing a pickup video with him so please stay tuned for that and you know if you guys have any questions on puppy essentials or puppy equipment you know write them in the comments down below directly message me i will try my best to answer just want to let you guys know also know that everything that i've bought for theodore is in my personal preference what i believe will be beneficial for me. Um, I am the type of person who likes to overthink, who likes to buy too many things just to be safe. So I think I am definitely overprepared, but I'd rather be overprepared than underprepared. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.